Welcome to today's Daily Report Market Analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech on Wednesday, the 23rd of October. Um, there's a slight element of risk aversion that's beginning to come back into the markets again. We've seen that um, the Brexit process has once more um, hit a buffer, hit a bump in the road, and subsequently it looks like the Article 50 deadline of 31st of October is now going to have to be extended. Um, that's in the powers of the European Union as to exactly how long that extension is, um, but we are still expecting an extension to be granted now that uh, the government doesn't look like they're able to get the um, Brexit legislation through Parliament in time for the 31st of October. So subsequently we're starting to see sterling rolling over, and that happened yesterday on the uh, announcement that, um, the, uh, that the government's programme motion was uh, voted down. And subsequently, we're also seeing these safe haven plays coming through. Again, we've got the yen, which has been pulling a little bit of strength against the dollar. We've got the gold price, which is higher. We've got treasury yields, which have started to fall away again. And that, again, as I said, is reflective of this slightly more negative risk appetite that's coming through. We've seen the S&P 500 closing lower, a little bit of a tick lower on um, futures as well. And a little bit of a mixed outlook across European markets today. FTSE 100 is up. That negative correlation play between FTSE and sterling is still a key factor there. Um, but generally and broadly speaking, we're seeing risk aversion starting to come back into the markets. Now, in terms of um, What's uh, impacting today? Well, we're starting to get, um, we've got the Eurozone Consumer Confidence at three o'clock and we've got uh, some data points um, in the run up to the ECB meeting uh, tomorrow, which could be important. But uh, first of all, we look out for that uh, consumer um, confidence data, 6.7 is, an, is a, a slight deterioration from 6.5 last month. Uh, but also we're looking out for the EIA crude oil inventories, 2.2 million barrels of oil stocks building. Um, which wouldn't necessarily help the little rebound that we've got on um, oil in the last uh, 24 hours, but we're still looking out for a move on oil, which is just limited in its, uh, in its move, and uh, it still continues to just chug along as it has done, basically sideways throughout October. So uh, we're still looking for the reaction um, the, the, the reaction of the EU27 to this um, likely need for an extension um, on the a Article 50, and that is going to be the next driver, I think, of market sentiment um, in the next day or so. So, on to my chart of the day, which is the Euro Kiwi. Now, what we have seen is the New Zealand dollar has been actually gone has gone from one of the worst performing currencies to one of the best performing currencies in the past week a strong rally in the kiwi has dragged euro kiwi lower even amidst the signs that uh, euro has been rising although euro is now starting to roll over as well so that's helped to be dragging the kiwi um, euro kiwi lower now this uptrend that we've been in since um, mid july was tested yesterday and again is being tested today 7360 so that's an important level. 73 big figure, an old breakout, became supportive back in September. And again, if you see a closing breach of that, then that would complete a top pattern, giving you around about sort of 300, 315 or so pips of corrective downside target. But look at these momentum indicators, 46 on the RSI. That is multi-week lows. That is already calling the breakdown of this top pattern. You've got the MACD lines beginning to find a little bit of traction lower. Stochastics, definitely traction lower. Again, confirming what the, the RSI is telling us, which is that the market is going to put pressure on this 73 big figure support and even probably break it. So this uh, first test is this uptrend today, and that is uh, at the moment just hanging on. But you can see on the hourly chart, lower highs, lower lows. Old support becoming new resistance. You can see that through 7450 area, 74 big figure area today. So we're looking for a test of that initial support at 7320 uh, from yesterday's low. And uh, it certainly looks as though that the downside pressure is starting to build on this Euro Kiwi. So um, how this uh, support at 73 figure reacts is going to be important. As I said, it would be a 300 pip 
or 170 big figure downside target and again that would coincide with that reaction low from September. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Also go to our website where you can sign up for our webinars.